I thought like that you know something could happen, but I never thought thought it would happen to me. That teenager was shocked while climbing a utility pole in Plymouth, and he says he is so glad that he's alive. He is recovering in the hospital and says he's learned a lesson from his very close call. WBZ's Christina Hager is live at Shriners Hospital tonight with more. Christina. Lisa, he has been here at Shriners Hospital for more than a month now, and he says he now has a new outlook on life. Thankful to be alive, to have all his fingers and his limbs. I'm doing pretty good. I've been walking for about a week now. 15-year-old Donovan Mitchell sharing his story after surviving 115,000 volts of electricity. I don't remember any of it. But he remembers how it started, something he'd done countless times before and now regrets. Climbing his way 20 to 30 feet up this tower to the crossbar that carries high tension lines outside an Eversource substation. But it was my fault. I, I kicked the thing, and the electricity went straight in my foot and out my back. That's when he fell, breaking some ribs and enduring electric shock waves and burns through his clothes to his skin, eventually ending up at Shriners Burn Hospital, where he spoke with us from his bed. So this is all new skin that I have to learn. Showing us the scars on his shoulder and arms, where over the last six weeks, doctors have completed skin graft surgery. It takes a long time, and it hurts, but it's totally worth it in the end. He's also healing from the emotional trauma, now with a message for anyone thinking of taking this kind of risk. You can't change everything that anyone does, but um, I'll definitely try to stop him. No, like nobody did for me. I also spoke with his mother today. She says they've been talking about ways he can teach others not to take risks like he did. He says he's beyond thankful to the doctors and the nurses here at Shriners, and he looks forward to going home to Plymouth next week. In Boston, Christina Hager, WBZ News. All right, Christina, thank you.